official year. And I've been keen to see some areas that have been prioritized, which I highly support. But I would like to also submit a few comments so that maybe we can also guide the budgets better before we pass this to become, to be effective. The first issue of concern to me is the immunization, which has a budget uh, cut from 9.4 billion to 7.4. And this is a crucial matter to every Kenyan in this country because as a young mother, I took my child for vaccinations just last week. And Mr. Speaker, I had to visit three hospitals private clinics before I could get vaccinations for my child who's just three months. And I could imagine what other mothers in rural areas and some remote areas are facing because every government facility must provide free vaccinations for every mother. This is a maternal uh, care issue. But if such a crucial department is considered to have a budget cut, then we are going against the fundamental issues of being humane, and we are not really considering the people that we represent. So that is of con concern to me. Number two is the Linda Mama program, which has also been supporting mothers across the country, which is also facing a budget cut. The, the critical issues that we cannot touch on, anything to do with health, our children, the future of our children, vaccinations. We are going back 10 years, 20 years as a country if we are not vaccina vac giving vaccinations to children because polio has been a big campaign. Ever since I was born, I've been hearing kick polio out of Kenya. But if children are not getting polio vaccines because I couldn't get rotavirus vaccine for my child and I am privileged enough to access private uh, uh, health, Healthcare, but these are mothers who cannot get this. So for me, this is not an issue that I can sit and watch. I have to address this, and I would definitely um, count on the support of every member because this is a matter that touches on all of us. As a youth representative of this house as well, the youth fund has also been removed. We are telling young Kenyans to come and get employment Finya computer programs, but we are not allocating funds for them to get support. So I understand this is something that we have to address. The youth fund must be supported so that young Kenyans can get more uh, jobs and, and, and can uh, uh, continue supporting the gig and the creative economy. Another issue is also the internet uh, uh, taxes that we've seen because every Kenyan is able to buy data from wherever they are. We have the Jitume program, which is something that even our committee, the ICT committee that I sit, is campaigning big on. And this is a presidential agenda that we want to support. But if internet faces more taxation, Kenyans will not be able to even buy the data or afford this uh, data so that they're able to get online employment or the digital programs, the gig economy, and all these things that we keep talking about. We have to put money where our mouth is. And Finally, there is an 85 billion reduction that we've been hearing, but where is this money being reduced from? It's being reduced from health, education, agriculture, critical issues that support, that are the backbone of our country. So if money has to be reduced, let it come from elsewhere, let us save from elsewhere. But money is on education, money is on health, money is on environment should not be touched on because we even need to put more money there, not remove it. So these are my general comments. Of course, we'll be able to support it with amendments, but those are the pointers that I would have wanted to raise. And uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity.